Hi guys, I'm Torben and this is Bradley. We're from Dive In. And right here we got the Bluefin uh, Cruise Carbon 12. In this video, we'll talk about the specs and features of the board. We'll talk about what we like and what we don't like about it. And then last but not least, we'll tell you whether or not we think this is a board you should buy. So let's dive into the Carbon Cruise 12 uh, from Bluefin. Real quick, I'm just going to go through the, the, the specs and features of this board. So it's uh, 12 feet long, 32 inches wide, 6 inches thick. It comes as a 10.8 as well, which is of course a bit shorter. So it's, it's meant for people that are below 6 feet um, and the 12 if you're above 6 feet. feet. We have the weight of uh, if you're on the 12, you should be, uh, or if you're above 85 kilos, which is 180 pounds around that. Um, go for the 12. If you're below, you can do with the 10.8. Um, and it also comes as a 15 uh, feet long board, but that's more if you want to do two people on it. What we've got here right now is the 12, uh, and it's definitely one of our favorite boards at the moment. Features, we have handles. Let's just run through it from, from the beginning. Handles, we have front, back, each side in the middle, and we even have these at the cargo side as, as well. So you got plenty of options for pulling this one out of the water or carrying it. You also get um, a carry handle that you can attach to the D-rings here. So it's easy for you uh, to bring this one in and out of the water. D-rings as well, plenty. We got with the cargo and then you got six here in the middle. Uh, got cargo rings, uh, D-rings here with the cargo in the back. And then we've got one D-ring here in the middle at the back as well. Mostly this is, you can use it to attach the, the coil leaves or you can just use it to attach your accessories and so on. Right here in the middle, the D-rings is, is mostly made for the kayak seat that's in the package as well. Um, but you can also, if you don't bring the kayak seat, attach different things to it, um, up to you. Then we have cargo, front and back. Um, it's a dual chamber, uh, which means you have a small chamber of air in the middle, and then the large you inflate in the back. This gives extra stability, we'll come to that later on. Nice large uh, deck pad here with diamond grip. Uh, Gives good good grip and so on. Uh, nice to stand on as well. Fins, we got two attached fins. Um, sorry, two, two smaller fins that's detachable and one, one larger fin uh, that's also detachable, which means you can take them all off. Uh, it's nice when you're about to go in the water that you don't need to have them on. Um, it's also nice for packing in and out um, with the board that we can remove the fins completely. Oh, we got the action mount as well uh, in the front so you can attach the action camera, uh, speaker as well, cup holder, you can, you can get to that. No, nothing, nothing of this will follow, but you can get things to attach to it if you want. Quick specs and features. Um, if you want to see more, more in depth in terms of this, uh, want to read more about the construction of the whole board, click the link below. We have plenty uh, in the written guide uh, where we go through this in details of how the construction is made and, and what it will, will do to the board. Bradley, this is, I know, one of your favorite boards, but, but what do you like about it? What, what, what really gets you going? I think the, uh, the performance factor yep. gets me going. Um, literally, actually, it, it, uh, it's my favorite board for, for touring right now. And I think uh, all of the, the design features that Bluefin has put in has been carefully thought out and I think they, they actually hit that sweet spot between being being useful but not being in the way. And yeah. uh, for me, that's something that, that has the, the versatility for uh, also just going out and, and uh, when I want to get out on the water and, and play around and uh, maybe even do some stretches if, uh, if I'm into that. Uh, do a backflip on the, on the board, do some yoga, is that now on your mind there? Right, when I need yeah. to show off, uh, just paddling down the, the canals, but yeah. um, it, it uh, is on tracking, makes, makes uh, a, a wicked straight line. Yeah. And uh, I, I don't need to, to, to struggle to do J stroke. It just, uh, it holds a line really nicely, yeah. but at the same time, uh, in terms of maneuverability, with uh, the excellent uh, backstep uh, kick pad, it, uh, it it turns on a dime. 
yeah which is really, really nice yeah and in, even if you don't want to do the back step turn that's that really in terms of, of how, how often you go paddling and your uh, your balance as well getting back to this um you can still turn it quite easily so yeah. it's a long board uh, but you can still flip it around quite easily i think i think that's good as well uh, and i completely agree with the track it, it keeps a nice straight line um that's also three uh rather large fins will give you a good stable board we got the touring shape in the front and it's just bend a bit upwards which means you can also hit small waves and still keep your your path um, it won't really turn you that much on off if you're on rougher waters than what we got out here which is actually nice because uh, combined with the the rigid body and and the slight rocker it means that uh, you know you can you can just take the worst lip of of the waves and, yeah. and crash right through the rest of it and yeah. uh, without losing too much speed as well yeah um, yeah, I agree. And that's the uh, the double chamber effect and, and then the, the rails as well. Yeah, and, and then we got this, uh, what Bluefin is calling flex reduction system. It sounds really fancy. It's the carbon rails here at the side that this gives, holds this stable uh, position of the board. And then the dual chamber gives extra stability to this board. So so uh, this is really uh, compared as well to the price you're paying. You, you do get a lot of, of extra proper features on this board. Um, for the price of it, so so that's really I think a, a big plus on it as well. And apropos the the double chamber, it also makes pumping it up uh, a lot easier as yeah, well. Yeah, Inflating two chambers is always easier than than a single yeah. one. Definitely. Front and back, we got the cargo. Um, it's quite standard bungee. Uh, we have the, here at the sides we have the handles that are just attached to um, the D rings here. It's not really for cargo, uh, as it will not hold it, but. But we got the bungee with the cross here, which really gives you a lot of options for cargo. Um, and you can fit a, a cooler bag in there as well, which cooler bag is, or is a perfect. dry bag or, dry or bag. yeah, any, anything. And if you got more cargo as well, we have the D rings up here, so you can really attach um, as you like, kind of to this. One, I think one of my favorites. I know this is is one of your favorites as well. Um, you got the back step ending here, and then we got the cargo starting behind the EVA deck pad. Yeah. I think a lot of the newer boards we're seeing, or a lot of the boards we're seeing, they actually have the cargo uh, bungee right here at the deck pad, which is, is, is quite uncomfortable if you're stepping back on it. Either you're stepping on your cargo, or you just have this bungee right here. And you risk stepping back and getting your feet caught in this bungee and falling back over. Um, so this is really nice. You kind of know when, when you're hitting the end and, and cargo will be behind that anyway. And I think that that goes to the point of, of Bluefin's design because a, a lot of, as you mentioned, a lot of the new boards, they have what I, I, I think of as feature pollution where they think like they have to, to put the as many cargo straps and sections on as possible without thinking about where they're putting it. Or, okay. And they do, they do six... six um, bunch of cords, uh, six D-rings and bunch of cords in between, and they'll do that uh, in the front as well. And you do get a lot of cargo, but, but it's also might be a bit too much on the smaller boards as well. You really need to go far to exceed the cargo we have on this board. I agree with that. Ka uh, kayak seat, I enjoy that as well. Uh, I love taking my kids way out on the water. Um, and in, especially in the beginning when, when they were a bit new to the water, sitting down just gives a lot more stability. Uh, so I could sit here in the middle um, on the kayak seat and, and I could have a kit behind me, one in front, or I could have both of my kits in front um, and they just enjoyed a trip on this. So the kayak seat just gives a lot more options. Let's talk about what we don't like about the cruise carbon because there's always things that, that you would like differently um, when we're talking about these boards. So we have the, the handle, I agree, it's a bit plastic in the top, yeah. that's set. The, the, the whole whole thing is kind of the blade, the, the, um, the stick as well, is, is proper quality materials. When you're paddling, you, you get a nice stroke. You don't feel like it's something you're breaking. You can feel that it's a quality product you buy. Um, the board itself as well, not, not even packed, it's, it's 38 pounds. So it is one of the heaviest boards uh, we've tested so far. So just also pulling it in and out of the water, I would say it's difficult for, for most people handling it. Um, now here you can just step out in the water, but sometimes you go from, from the edge of a harbor or, or where there's a big of, of, of a push down or a, a leap down. And, and that's make, making it a bit difficult getting it in, in and out. Um, so either be two people out paddling together or yeah, just make sure that you at least can pull it out one side and then get it up. I think that's 
but I, I, again, I think all of the additional uh, handles mitigates that, that definitely, issue. Definitely, definitely. No matter where you are, you can yeah. kind of pull it in. Definitely. All right. I think that that kind of sums up what we have. I, we talked a lot about what we don't like about it, and, and this is just a quality board. So, so in a lot of ways, it's not really showing that that it's a product you you don't like. Um, it has a nice lot of nice features. The price point compared to what you get is really fair as well. Um, and and yeah, uh, the the weight uh, as a negative part is is one thing, but but compared to the quality, I would say it's a, it's a fair weight. Talking about the accessories, um, coil lease standard for most of the paddle boards. Um, I think it's only one brand that isn't included in the package. It's really important as well that you bring it and you always use it. Falling off and having your board going one direction and you staying put, it's just easily avoidable by always attaching this coil lease. Um, this one's nice, flexible, quite long, um, but standard for most packages. What's not standard though is the kayak seat you see right here. A uh, perfect addition to a paddle board. Sit down, relax, um, play with the kids. Uh, you can sit down and paddle and they can jump up and down. Uh, no one's falling in. Um, or just on the way back, if, if the wind is hitting you straight in the face, sit down, have a lower profile. Um, the kayak seat is easily attachable to the D-rings. And, and this is a fairly basic product. Uh, we've seen the same model with different brands. Uh, so it's not really a unique Bluefin thing, but it is a standard kayak seat. Bluefin just included it in the package for the price as well. So it's definitely a, a big add-on for that. Um, carry straps here as well. Um, nice as well. You attach it to the D-rings and then you kind of have a or carry strap, shoulder strap for the paddle board. So you can hold it over your shoulder and, and carry it the distance you're going. That's a really nice thing if you're inflating it with a electric pump you attach to the car and then you have a walk from the car down to the boat or down to the water you can pull it over the shoulders especially because this is one of the heavier boards it's a nice add-on as well it's included in the in the package for the price then we have the pump that's a nice addition as well it's a dual uh, dual chamber triple action pump which means you have um, step one is pumping up and down and you inflate both up and down Step two is just inflating when you push down. That's as it gets harder, you sh sh shift it to uh, position two, and then you're just inflating dual chamber, but, but only when you're pushing down. And then step three is, is taking just one chamber, making it more, more easy. So when you wanna hit lo those last um, pumps down to get the proper pressure, uh, you're just gonna do one chamber. And that's really nice. This one doesn't have the addition that some of the other pumps have where you can take out air as well. That's a really nice feature to put in, uh, but we don't have this with the Bluefin dual chamber. Anyway, nice big uh, handles to easy pump, um, nice stand on. That's the positive about the pump. The negative is you can't detach the handles uh, and the, the stand doesn't fold up, which means it does take up a lot of space uh, in the back. If you're okay with that, then definitely this is a nice pump. The paddle, Bradley, what do you think about that one? You've been paddling plenty with this. Uh, is, it, is it one you like? I do. I don't think it's a, a special one by any, uh, by any means, but it, it is a carbon fiber paddle and it has a, a decent flex and it has a, a robust enough uh, blade here made of, of nylon, which is uh, pretty good, the, the standard kind that that you find on on most of the included paddles these days you, you find it on most of the premium boards right uh, yeah. and, and when you're getting down on the budget ones you'll find um but but lesser expensive materials for the paddles yeah, yeah. Uh, primarily aluminum yeah and and those ones will bend and you'll likely have issues getting the handle into the shaft again yeah. but um but for the the more mid-range and and premium ones you get uh, either a hybrid or uh, or the carbon fiber right. ones, and there's some there's some differences on on the the shape of the blades in terms of uh, how much thrust you get, how wide they are sometimes, and this one is maybe uh, you know as as wide as they come, which means that depending on your form, you might end up scraping it along the rails, um, or not. It it. Uh, it can take it. This board is, is heavy duty, so it can take it. But um, I would say that that it's something that uh, I noticed 
uh, right. at least. The handle here is not my favorite. It feels very plasticky, and uh, I think even just a, an outer rubber coating would have been nice on it. But um, that is actually under the category of one of the things that All right. I don't like about the board. Let's uh, let's get the bag up here, um, because to pack everything in, the pedal board, all the accessories, we have this nice rolling bag. Um, it comes with the package as well. With the, we have the wheels at the back, which means we have straps here at the front, and then wheels at the back, which means you can actually wheel it without too much damage to the, the straps and so on. Uh, the bag itself is big enough to fit uh, all the accessories. Um, it is heavy once everything is packed up, uh, and, and the bag can hair it. We've got nice, somewhat okay paddings on it. It's not the best of the bags we've seen, it's not the worst of the bags we've seen, but it's, it's, it's okay in between. You can see right here that we've done a lot of tear on it just by using the wheels once it's packed up. It doesn't have this rigid form as you'd see in a standard travel bag, which means it's kind of bending a bit with the paddle board and all the accessories in, which means you are tearing a lot on the back, back if you're wheeling it, especially if you're wheeling it somewhere where it's not a pavement that is completely um, stable. This is one of the things that will likely happen with, with the backpack. And I think uh, as more and more people have paddle boards, more and more people will be buying backpacks as well. I think. Yeah, but, but at least there is a, a fairly decent bag included in this. Uh, and depending on how far you travel, it can be used for that, hauling it back and forth to the car and so on. And it's got the, the, the sternum straps and the, and the, uh, the waist straps as well. Yeah. When I was biking on it a couple times, it was... It was okay. It's 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 a heavy board, and because it's heavy material, but uh, the bag is good enough. Who should get this board? Is it one you recommend? I I would uh, absolutely recommend it to somebody who's who's tested paddle boarding, who's interested in maybe doing just a little more than than uh, paddling around in circles. I think. Uh, this is uh, something that you could even take into a competition. Uh, I've done some uh, unofficial races with it and have actually had quite a bit of success. And I think for people who, who want to get into a little more performance and, and who want to go a, a little further out and, uh, and enjoy the, the features that it has in terms of, of cargo and... and uh, um, with the kayak seat as well, I think uh, they're going to enjoy that. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, I would say I agree with you. It's not completely beginner board, but that's more based on the price because I also think when you're starting on a stable board as this, it just gives you a better start to pedal boarding. We have a lot of the beginner boards that are definitely priced much better, but they are also less uh, stable and therefore it, it doesn't give you as a smoother ride. So if you're sure that paddle boarding something that you want to do if you live close by the water and if you're really just a water person that just want to do more paddle boarding then I, I would say it will fit as a premium beginner board um, beca because you can get started straight away and smaller uh, beginner boards you tend to have a bit of issues finding your balance when you're just starting out whereas this one will really help you get going um, without any issues. I think as well that I haven't tried it yet but uh, I'd be curious to see how it how it does surfing. I, I, I suspect it actually would be pretty good at that yeah, too. Completely. For people well, who want to try Let's that. try that out next. On that note, uh, we'll end the review here. Um, this is the uh, Cruise Carbon 12 from Bluefin. It comes as a 10.8 as well and a, as a 15 feet long board as well if you're two people on it. Um, now we talked a bit about what we like and what we don't like. If you have any features to it, if you tried it out, um, or if you have any questions to it, leave a comment down below. We, we love to answer your questions. Uh, we love to get more feedback as well if you tried out the board. Um, every person who tries a board has a different opinion about it. Uh, this is definitely ours. If you want to re read more specs, features, drive facts, so on, click the link below in the description. You can find a link to this board um, where we review it more also. As we try out the boards more, um, we will update features and so on. If, if we see that the boards are failing throughout time, because that's a, that's a thing with inflatable boards, the more you use it, um, 
sometimes we see glue opening up or something. This is, we've tested it quite a lot. We haven't seen anything, but if we find something as we test them, we'll update the article as well. So, so click the link, follow, see if there's any new updates on it. This is Bradley with me. Uh, I'm Torben, we're both from diving.com and this is the Cruise Carbon 12th.